Hurricane Milton is barreling into the Atlantic Ocean after plowing into Florida as a Category 3 storm. It pounded cities with ferocious winds and rains, whipped up a barrage of tornadoes and caused at least four deaths. It compounded the misery wrought by Helene. But it spared Tampa a direct hit. Several trees were downed in the downtown area. Parts of Orlando were flooded in the early morning hours. Rescue crews were seen suiting up to enter flood waters. The storm tracked to the south in the final hours and made landfall Wednesday night in Siesta Key, about 70 miles south of Tampa. The situation in the Tampa area was still a major emergency as St. Petersburg recorded over 16 inches of rain. According to poweroutage.us, more than 3.2 million homes and businesses were without electricity. The St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office said four people were killed in tornadoes that hit ahead of the storm. Aerial footage of Treasure Island shows piles of debris left after Hurricane Helene struck the Florida city and mostly empty roadways as the area braces for Hurricane Milton. The city is still reeling from the devastating flood and wind damage from Helene. Steady rain fell and winds began to gust in the Tampa Bay area Wednesday morning as a mighty Hurricane Milton churned toward a potentially catastrophic collision with the west coast of Florida. Major bridges around Tampa Bay planned to close in the afternoon, she said, and public shelters were open for evacuees. Rocket interceptions were seen on Vaden's Day over the city of Haifa in northern Israel. The city is being continuously attacked by rockets launched from Lebanon, more intensively in the last few days. Israel is at war with Hamas in Gaza and its ally Hezbollah in Lebanon, which began firing rockets at Israel on October 8, 2023. 
Nearly 2,000 people have been killed in Lebanon since then, most of them since September 23, according to the Lebanese Health Ministry. More than 41,800 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza, just over half women and children, according to local health officials.